Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com continuing our discussion on motivation theories today we are looking into some of the theories proposed by these two gentlemen on your screen right now McGregor's theory X and theory Y and Auchi's theory Z these are important from PMP exam perspective so do watch this video till the end and I can guarantee you you don't have to read anything else about these theories from your PMP exam point of view. All right, let's get started. All right, a quick brief about Douglas McGregor, although not important from your PMP exam perspective. So feel free to skip if you want to. So Douglas McGregor, he lived between 1906 and 1964, and he was a management professor at MIT's Sloan School of Management, quite popular institution so he also taught at indian institute of management calcutta iim as it is popularly known as and douglas mcgregor is a contemporary of abraham maslow i hope you remember maslow's hierarchy of needs something we have recently discussed first link in the description will take you to maslow's hierarchy of needs very important video do check that out so just like Maslow, he also contributed much to the development of the management and the motivational theory. He's best known for his theory X and theory Y as presented in his book, The Human Side of Enterprise. I'll try to find uh, a link to this book and we'll share it in the description if I'm able to do so. So this theory basically proposed that managers individual assumptions about human nature and behavior determine how individual manages their employees now the important part about this entire theory x and theory y is that it is about managers it is about the individual assumptions that managers carry so this is something important and i want you to highlight the word manager here and you will find that out why I want you to do so in the next slide. So let's understand theory X and theory Y. All right, so before discussing theory X and theory Y, what you see on the screen right now is a good way to remember theory X and theory Y. Theory X gets a thumbs down. Theory Y, which resonates with a right tick mark, resonates with something which is right. And I can maybe try to draw a Y here. So this is theory Y and theory X. I hope you're able to remember theory X and theory Y with these thumb signs. Now, why do we give theory X a thumbs down? So theory X managers, believe and remember i asked you to highlight the word managers in the previous slide because managers is the key word here so theory x managers managers that follow theory x or that come under theory x they believe that team members dislike work and avoid it if possible i hope you understand why we are giving this a thumbs down right so team members need to be micromanaged and coerced into compliance if required. Team members avoid responsibility. Team members are motivated by fear or lack of job security. So don't give them job security. They will be feared and they will be working. So this is what theory X managers believe in. And that is why it gets a thumbs down. Theory Y gets a thumbs up. Why? Because theory Y managers believe the team members are willing to work and they actually enjoy it work is as natural as play as natural as sleeping so that is exactly what theory why managers believe they believe that team members can be trusted and to do their job as they are self-directed and they are self-disciplined this is what theory why managers believe team members seek responsibility they don't avoid responsibility they seek responsibility because they thrive on it and team members are motivated by the desire of self-development not by the fear or lack of job security they are motivated by desire of self-development and making a contribution to the world these are the things that motivate team members so i hope you understand the difference between theory x managers and theory y managers 
obviously when you become a manager if you are a project manager in a projectized environment you would want to be a theory why manager if you are an individual contributor you would want to work under a theory why manager not the theory x manager and that is why theory x gets a thumbs down all right before we discuss William Auchi's Theory Z. Let me remind you quickly, if you're looking for PMP book recommendations, head over to pmclounge.com slash resources. This is where I have listed my absolute favorite books to prepare for the PMP exam. So here is Mr. William Auchi and he was also known as Bill. He was born in 1943 and he was an American professor also an author in the field of business management so he was the distinguished professor of management and organizations you can read that ucla is also named here he basically came to prominence for his studies in the differences between japanese and american companies and management styles so i hope you understand where we are leading to here we saw mcgregor's theory x and theory y McGregor was again an American professor and American management author and he basically concentrated on American companies management style. Auchi brought a Japanese perspective into the entire scenario and came up with theory Z. So his first book in 1981 summarized the observation. So he came up with theory Z and how American management can meet the Japanese challenge. And this was actually a New York Times bestseller for over five months. So I'll find a link to this book and uh, add it in the description below. So that's William Auchi or Bill Auchi for you right there. Let's look into what he is talking about in theory Z. So. I'd like to remind you here theory Z is not as important as theory X and theory Y when it comes to your PMP exam, but you should definitely know what theory Z is all about. You never know a question may show up in your PMP exam. So theory Z, it promotes four things. Number one is stable employment. Number two is high productivity. Number three is high morality. Number four, employee satisfaction. So this, these four things, is what theory Z promotes. Now, you can create loyal employees and the loyalty is increased by offering them a job for life. This is the Japanese style of management, offering a job for life. Remember how we talked about theory X managers believing that the motivation for employees can come from lack of job security. Theory Z says, that you should give employees a job for life and you should also have a strong focus on employee well-being both on the job as well as their private lives so this is what theory z promotes like i said these are the four important points that theory z promotes which you should know of so that is all that we had in this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you got value out of it. Smash that like button if you did so. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't done so already to stay notified whenever we upload new content. As always, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.